ladies and gentlemen, to the 1987 Supermod. I'm your host, Brad Drake, and this is my AWA save. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight we have Spot Show number 14, and we are in Madison, Wisconsin. The venue is already set, Vell Phillips Memorial High School. And let's get a better look here at Mel, I'm sorry, Vell Phillips High School. I don't quite understand why it's not showing up here. Anyway, move, <laughs> moving right along, you know what, I probably, when I created the venue, I probably clicked on Midwest instead of Great Lakes. That was probably my mistake. It happens a lot. So the venue is booked. I think it's 1,200 people or 1,100 people. So we are in Madison, and for Phillips High School, we're running a fundraiser for their booster club or athletic club, whichever one we want to go with. And that's exactly what a spot show was, and that's exactly what our spot show is going to do for this high school. What's going on with Art Washington here? Oh, thanks, Art. Art did some nice work here. The rest is some protege work. And let's take a look at our card. In our opener, Reggie Bennett is going to face World women title holder, uh, title contender, Wendy Richter. The Nasty Boys are going to face Alan West and Tom Zank. Johnny Rich is going to be in singles action against Rip Oliver. Steve Olsonowski is going to face Bobby Duncan. Sheik Adnan LKC is going to face Wahoo McDaniel in the semi-main. And in our main event, the Russians are going to face Bob Backlund and Sergeant Slaughter. It's that time, everybody. Let's get to booking. And I already forgot our opener. <laughs> it's Reggie Bennett versus Wendy Richter. And of course, since this is a spot show, that's a 12-minute match. There's Reggie Bennett. There's Wendy Richter. And of course, we're going to put Wendy Richter over here. Bam. That one's complete. Next match, our tag team bout. And that's the Nasty Boys versus West and Zank. Uh, I think that one goes up to 14. It does. Yeah, two 14s and then a 16. Yep. All right, and here's Alan West. And there is. Tom Zank. And that one's booked. And we're going to leave this one open-ended. Whoever wins, wins. I got high hopes for Tom Zank, but the Nasty Boys could also use a win, so it doesn't matter to me who wins. Next, we have Rich versus Oliver. And this one does matter to me who wins. And Rip Oliver is going to go over by cheating. And there we go. Rip Oliver with the win. And of course it's going to be tainted. Next, we have Olsenowski. Versus Duncan. And Big Bobby Duncan is going to go over here. There's old Steve O here. I was watching Wrestle Rock 86 yesterday, and Steve Olsonowski was a referee in one of the matches. Which match it was, I don't remember offhand. I think it may have been the Wahoo McDaniel match. So Bobby Duncan is going to get the win here. 
Olsnowski is an interesting guy. We've talked about it before. He had a lot of success in Georgia and just mild success in the AWA. He was considered, um, he was the AWA Rookie of the Year one year, and he was a very good athlete. I, I don't know what the issue was there. All right, Al KC is going to face Wahoo McDaniel. Wahoo is going to take this match. And our big main event here, 25 minutes is the Russians versus Backland and Slaughter. I don't think we've ever tagged Backland and Slaughter up together, so this is kind of exciting. We'll see how it goes. And it's a very nice main event for a spot show. Sergeant Slaughter and Bob Backlund, there's a lot of names on this card, actually, would have drawn people into a show like this. So we're going to have Bob Backlund get the win. It's going to be an epic. And we're booked out now, 111 minutes, our normal time. We are ready to start the show. All right, Wendy Richter with the win. No red text to Doom here, so that's very good. It's nice to know that Bennett and Richter have good chemistry. All right, Tom Zank gets the win for his team over the Nasty Boys. West and Zank didn't do too bad together. 63 for this one. Pretty good. All right, Rip Oliver gets the win. We get a 54 overall. Of course, Rip Oliver cheats. Oliver is paired up with Sherry Martell now as his manager, and they got good chemistry. No knocks here, so that's terrific. 78, Bobby Duncan, 84. Steve O, a 60. 78 overall. Olsenowski's penalized for inconsistency, not the end of the world. 81, LKC versus McDaniel. Very nice score. And LKC actually outscores McDaniel here. And I think the problem is that McDaniel's showing declining physical ability. LKC is not showing his age yet. So look at that. 1,900 people. I was wrong with the side size of the gym. So this is a sellout. In the Vell Phillips Memorial High School Gym here in Madison, Wisconsin. Pretty exciting. And our main event scores an 81 overall. And it's kind of surprising, but then again, maybe it isn't. I think we're going to see some holding back business here. And we do. Inconsistency, experience, psychology. Yeah. But no holding back. So that's a good sign. All right, Bob Backlund gets the win with Sergeant Slaughter with that cross-face chicken wing. Very nice. Very nice spot show overall. We're going to finish up here. We get a 79 for that spot show. Terrific. All right, and we have another spot show coming up, which is going to be tomorrow, and we're going to be in Waukesha for that one. I believe it's another high school gym in Waukesha. I have not set the card, so you'll have to watch to find out what that card is. And let's just wait for things to finish up here. And it does. Let's see if there's... Uh, Jim Neidhart got banged up a little bit for a couple days. Looks like he's good to go, though. And let's see if there's anything that catches our eye here. Eh, not too much. IWF still running a whopping 83. Ooh, brutal. Brutal. ITV, that's some European stuff. I'm really not interested. And All-American Wrestling had its taping. And that's a pretty brutal card right there. Pretty brutal card. <laughs> Scott Casey and the Ultimate Warrior are tagging, though. Oh, no. They got a tag team called the Extinction Agenda. And I think it's Pete Sanchez and Dusty Wolf. Oh, man. That is awful. Awful stuff. All right, for those of you that have never done this before, we're going to no longer use Steve Armstrong. Okay, so we're going to let him go. But if we let him go the wrong way, you know what? We're Yeah, we're going to let him go. If we release him, this could cause a problem. 
Okay. Oh, he's under a written contract. I got him under a written. Okay, I'm going to show you how to work the system here. <laughs> if I can still do it, I don't know. Uh, Steve Armstrong just unfortunately is not is not working out here. So if you go to the editor and you go under their contract, you can take it all the way down, and then it's the end of the contract. Okay. Um, it just wasn't working out, and I don't want to fire him. So it just wasn't working out, and it's the way... I'm going to handle this. Uh, some of you may disagree with the way I'm handling it, but that's what I'm doing. So how's our backstage going? Got an 81% overall. Um, yeah, I was hoping for something better, but we do have a lot of wrestlers here with some negative influence. So that's probably hurting us a little bit, probably more than a little bit. Let's do a title check in here. Kurt Hennig is in month two of his reign. Nelson Royals had that belt for seven months. Good for him. Month two for the Rockers. Of course, Greg Gagne just won it, although technically he hasn't won it yet because it won't air until Saturday. And Sherry Martell is in month two of her title reign also. Let's take a look at the other companies out there, see if anybody's in big financial trouble. We're doing great. Planet Grand Prix's in trouble. Central States is holding on. CWA's doing well. Deep South is hanging on. ICW's doing well. IWF is hanging on. Wow, Jim Crockett's making money hand over fist, $44 million. In the real world, they were broke. NWF's in some trouble there. New Japan's doing well. Pacific Northwest is doing well. Who's their champions? Rip Oliver is currently the Pacific Northwest champion. Tag team, Scott Peterson, Steve Dahl. And the TV. How'd they end up with that TV title? <laughs> Art Bar Pro Wrestling America is doing okay Stampede's in trouble Wild West is in major trouble Windy City's doing okay World Class is doing good I'm surprised that World Class has not bought Wild West But who knows all right, that's going to do it for us here, folks. We'll be back tomorrow with another spot show, and we'll have some fun with that car. We'll change some things up and mix some things up and have a good time with it. Uh, if you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button, give us a like, share this video with your friends. Join us on Facebook, facebook.com slash groups slash 1987 Supermod. Last but not least, if you would like version 7.0 of the Supermod, go to braddrake.net. Go ahead and drop me a line, and I'll be more than happy to send you a link to the picture back and to the database. Thanks, everybody. So long for now.